Hi and welcome to volume of a cuboid. Just before we begin, I just want to remind you that a notes jotter is available for this video. So if you just check the description below, you'll see a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so first of all, I just want to begin um, by actually just looking at a little bit of terminology um, about our 3D shapes. Um, the very first uh, shape we've got there, all of the dimensions are one centimeter. So here we have the, um, the width, here we have the height, and here we have the length. And they're each uh, one centimeter long. Now, this means because all of the sides are the same length, that we would call this one a cube. So as long as all of the dimensions are the same, we have a cube. As we move on to the second one, we notice that two of the dimensions are the same. So this face here would be a square. But then we have a different length along the, uh, along the width of the shape. And so the width being different means that this is no longer a cube, but a cuboid. And finally, we have a shape where all three dimensions are different. So the height and the length and the width are all different. But every shape that makes up the uh, 3D shape is a rectangle. And so this is also known as a cuboid. We're also today, we're looking for volume of a cuboid. Now, what does volume actually mean? Well, volume is the capacity of a uh, 3D shape. It is how much, uh, how much could you actually fit inside of it? And so because we are talking about cubes, our units are going to be centimeter cubed. And that is because we've got three dimensions uh, working together. Now, the um, first shape that we've got was a one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter cube. That is one centimeter cube. And so if you had a shape that was one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter, that would be a centimeter cube. Now, a little side note on a cent one centimetre cube, that's actually exactly the same as one milliliter. So if we were talking about liquids, one milliliter would fit inside of one centimetre cube. Okay, so now let's look at finding the volume of some cuboids. Now, each of these diagrams I have um, built up using single centimetre cubes and built them to make a larger cuboid. And so the first one has a width of four centimeters, a length of three centimeters, and a height of two centimeters. So if I wanted to find out um, what the volume of this shape was, well, I could count the number of cubes that are needed to make it. If we just look at the front, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes. And that has three layers. So eight times three, well, that would be 24 centimeter cubes. It must have taken 24 cubes to make that cuboid. If I do the same with the second shape, we have a width of five, a length of three, and a height of three. And so if we look at the front of the shape, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cubes. But that is only for the first layer. The front of it is 15 cubes. But if we have a look, going along the length, there are three layers. So again, we want to do 15 times three and that will be 45 centimeters cubed. But counting cubes is not always going to be possible. What could be a quicker way of getting to those two answers? Starting out with the original dimensions of four and three and two, how could I get straight to an answer of 24? Well, we could take the formula for the volume of a cuboid. That is length times width times height. The length of three 
times the width of 4 times the height of 2. 3 times 4 is 12 times 2 is 24. For the second one, if I took the length of 3 and multiplied it by the width of 5 and multiplied it by the height of 3, well, 3 times 5 is 15 times 3 is 45 centimetres cubed. So in our next examples, we no longer have the shapes built of cubes. So we just have the cuboids as they would be seen normally. And so now we have to use the, uh, the formula length times width times height. So let's just label our diagram so we know which is which. The length, the width, the height. The length, the width, the height. And all we're going to do is multiply those three numbers together. So length of 2 times width of 7 times height of 3. Now, actually, at this point, I do want to point out, um, because it's all multiplication, we could actually do this in any order you like. So if you, uh, are, if you prefer one particular uh, times table over another, use that one first. But in this case, let's just do it in the order it comes. 2 times 7 is 14. And then 14 times 3 is 42 centimetres cubed. Then if we go to the second uh, diagram here, and we'll use the same formula, length of 10 times width of 6 times height of 2. Well, 10 times 6 is 60 times 2 is 120. 120 centimetres cubed. Our last set of examples is actually a, um, a little bit more of a challenge. In this case, um, we don't actually have all of the dimensions of our shape. But what we do know is the volume of the cuboid. And so at this time, what we're going to have to do is use our formula, but work backwards to find the missing lengths. So in this case, I'm looking for the height of my cuboid. Now, what I know from my formula is that um, 2 as the length times 5 as the width times x, the height of the shape, must make 30. So we need to work out what that value must be. Well, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times something makes 30. So a couple of options here. I can either just think, what do I multiply 10 by to make 30? Or I can do a little division. And I'd rather do a little division. So I'm going to divide by 10 in both cases. And so x would equal 30 divided by 10 which is 3. So it tells me that the volume, uh, the height of that cube must be 3 centimetres. If I do the same with the other, uh, other cuboid, this time I'm trying to find out what the width of the shape is. So if I take my formula um, that we started with, length times width times height. So length is 6 times y, because I don't know what my width is, times my height of 2, in this case, that must come to an answer of 36. So this time, let's have a quick look at the two, two values we do know. 6 times 2, well, that is 12. So 12 times y equals 36. And again, I need to work out what that final value must be. So I'm just going to do a little division. I'm going to divide by 12 to find the answer. And so y must equal 36 divided by 12, which is 3 also. And now we come to our actual exam question. This came from the Edexcel paper in June 2017, and it was foundation paper 3. With it being paper 3, that does mean uh, that we can use a calculator if we uh, wish to. Um, so, We've been told that the diagram shows a cube of side length 2 centimetres. 
Now you can tell it's a cube, all of the lengths are the same. So the width and the length and the height are all two centimeters. And Vera says the volume of any solid made with six of these cubes is 48 centimeters cubed. Is Vera correct? You must show your working. Well, straight away, we've been told volume and we're talking about a cube. So we need to use our formula. The volume of this particular cube is going to be two times two times two. Two times two is four times two is eight centimeters cubed. So that is the volume of a single cube. She has said, that she's going to use six cubes. So with those six cubes, well, that would be six times this volume. Six times eight is 48. The question was, is she correct? Well, she is absolutely spot on. Six of those cubes would make a volume of 48 centimeters cubed. Yes, she is correct.